Hi guys, my wife has requested me to create a video on Omica system because she finds it a little bit um, you know, overwhelming and uh, I agree with her, it's kind of overwhelming if, overwhelming if you have just started looking into it and especially when you don't have a lot of points and uh, I have quite a lot of experience with Omega system. I have uh, I have all the heroes unlocked. I have all the heroes at max level. Uh, quite a number, more than a dozen of them already at rate ready level. So I've looked into this uh, this whole entire system. I, I know I know which one are the good one, or you know uh, which one are the good one. Even when you don't have a lot of Omega points, uh, like like some other do. I have about five thousand Omega points, and uh, but you know even if your Omega Omega point is not high. You, you can make quite a lot of uh, you know uh, interesting decisions uh, based on you know um, you know there are some notes that are really really good to to pick so without further ado I just quickly walk through you through and this video is applicable to all heroes so you know whether whether you are playing uh, Black Widow or playing uh, you know a Human Torch or or Magneto it doesn't matter this will apply to you so the uh, the, the the first one is radio radioactive origins i i don't suggest putting any points in it it's more for team buff and so on i i just skip it uh nanotechnology this one is interesting uh spin tech is something that most people would um, will look into i put uh, by the way i put a point there because i want to remember which one i talk about in this video uh, if you have enough points, just pump it to the max, like 10 points to it, it doesn't really cause a lot. It does specific damage to bosses. However, if you are extreme in low Omega points, then you may not want to waste your point to here. There are other places that benefit you across the board. But if you are if raiding, for instance, this is a must. Uh, then this one is, uh, is about if, you are, if your character does physical damage, right? Um, this field is very good to have the Deathlock program. Uh, river program as well as a uh, super soldier serum super soldier serum will give you plus strength and uh, the cost escalation is quite low so you can if you can afford it you know have all five points uh, five ranks here if not then you know if you are at the medium side meaning that you have over a thousand omega points and you know this is something that you may wish to look into uh, whether you would like to increase the ranks here I've got another video and an, an upcoming one to tell you uh, to to give give you a more informed decision on how many points to click into, you don't have to pick uh, all thirty points. I wouldn't. I never do that because it's just too costly. But to which point you stop? There's another video for that. So again, if you have physical damage, you know, pick this one. Super su su super soldier serum is really good. If you have a survival issue, right? Uh, if you have low in health or you found that you always uh, live a little bit more help to, to go to help you through uh, this note called serum so2 is actually pretty good and it costs quite little as well 15 16 17 points escalate that way uh, you can put a number of points to it I wouldn't suggest too much as well um, but then again that's another video I'm just this video just talk about which are the notes that you should pay attention especially if you are low uh, in Omega point just one point here one point there and this is one thing that you may want to look into um, now this one is very interesting. The, si the Psionics one is uh, is overall a very good tree for 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 quite a lot of heroes. Um, Shadow King possession is something that um, some something that you know most of us will invest points in. However, if your crit of your hero is already hitting forty five percent to fifty percent without this note, then you probably don't need to have this one uh, to increase the crit. Um, you know you may you may look into the brute brutal strike rating but having said that there are other notes that help you through as well so not every hero I have invest in this this note however for those heroes that you are unable to hit 45% uh, or you know um, un unable to hit 40% on your on, on the damage type that type that is relevant to you you I, I strongly suggest that you you invest in Shadow King possession uh, that that is a really good note to have to increase your crit because for end game crit is important um, if you are playing a summoner role uh, this is important as well as well as the one the opposite called merge and processes it increase the summon ally damage uh, ally health is not that important now, however however because the cost escalation is quite high it is not something that just because you are summoner and just because you can afford you put 20 20 20 ranks to it no it isn't uh you know it is worth some ranks but definitely not 20 something to look look into uh if you're playing a summoner this is good as well um because when you hit your summon allies gain you know uh, extra damage and it's good again it's not something that you should put a lot of points in uh 
you know, uh, a few points will do. And if you are playing a summoner, plus six intelligence is something that you will look for because that gives the overall uh, 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 damage rating to your pets as well as to your crit as well. And again, if you are playing a, um, a summoner, then this note is also good to have because it gives you the plus, uh, plus one intelligence. Yeah. Um, another one to look into is this, uh, if, if you are again playing a hero whereby uh, many summoner like Rocket Raccoon, you can afford to lose the strength and dura uh, durability, of course, and because those are not really that important to you. Uh, but you can gain both energy and intelligence for 300 points for first investment. Again, something that, you know, if you can afford it, it's something to look into, it's a good one. I will skip this uh, string of room for, for, the, for the physical build, the plus 7 strength is good, but it took I don't mind the minus 70 spirit for some of the hero. I don't need that much spirit, but you know the move speed, move speed penalty is just too high. Mm. And uh, if you are playing a hero that is of mental damage or a hybrid of mental and energy, you may want to work towards the uh, the Phoenix Force. So the Phoenix Force is the one that uh, gives you plus 10 energy, and that is wonderful. And I mean that is really good however a lot of points along the way are more geared towards mental attack so if you do not wish to pick those mental attack even if you are playing a hybrid and and um, like i play jane and my, my jane does both energy and and mental but because i usually give her um, um uh, switch to phoenix a li little bit more uh, to give her more uh, opportunity to deal mental damage so i don't mind picking up this tree but no it's not for everybody uh, but if you like, uh, like Silo, for instance, I switch everything to mental power, and this is this tree is wonderful, wonderful because majority of it be, uh, beefed up the mental attack, except this particular one that does uh, base damage to both energy and mental attack. So something to look into, and also forget about if you are whether or not you are a um, uh, um, mental or energy uh, type. Uh, this one is quite nice to look into. This one called melt phase it is very low investment but it gives you the brutal damage rating so if you are working on end game end game what does that mean right end game means that your your crit should hit about 50 percent uh, your brutal should be around that as well so if your brutal is around that you can benefit from from brutal damage rating quite a fair bit so this is something that i will work towards this whole entire note is quite nice the rest of it is for for mental damage but this one particularly uh, it is work is, is usable for any heroes uh, any damage type okay Mo uh, molecular adjustment is um, uh, I only will look into a couple of them if you are not into just now the plus 10 energy because your hero doesn't do any mental damage the, the another option to, to have is this note there the antigenesis which give you the plus energy as well and it give you uh, the cost escalation is pretty low uh, so you can actually if you can afford it you can you can you can you can unlock everything but having said that you know all these notes are pretty expensive if you only have about 500 omega point or you know or, or less then you probably won't skip all this so that's for energy and other one is that if you are playing rocket raccoon or, or, or squirrel girl that does the summon ally damage uh, this is yet another one that you probably look into they give you the plus one energy um, so if you are not uh, if you don't fancy the one before then this uh, the envogenesis is something that um, you something that you may look into because if you are playing summon ally damage uh, summon ally, ally build then you probably may be doing more base uh, basic power damage as well now um, another note to consider uh, not saying that this is a is a must have or whatnot but if you if you really have no idea where to put you know and you are at end game uh, this is an interesting note to pick up because it gives you both brutal damage rating as well as the brutal strike rating uh, these are great stats for end game, but it also gives you another buff that is having, having a certain percentage to enter into a frenzy mode to, to gain attack speed and so on and so forth. Uh, it is not bad, I mean, you know, it is not bad. And uh, the, the spirit penalty is really minimal. So, you know, if you have nowhere else to go and you feel that mm, maybe I should just uh, boost my brutal strike, uh, I've already, you know, uh, invest so much in the brutal strike, uh, um, you know, kind of uh, stats, then yeah, I mean, it is something that you should consider. 
So moving forward, the neural enhancement. Neural enhancement is, uh, I think there's recently a change to this note that is make it applicable to all. Uh, I, um, this is the one that I would strongly recommend because crit hit rating and crit damage rating are both you need. Um, I'm looking at 80% cost effectiveness. So, you know, I would not want to pay more than, you know, um, uh, a certain amount. So for me, five point is what I usually put. So five point will look like this, uh, 150 crit damage rating, 150 crit hit rating, and these are pretty good stuff. So, you know, strongly, strongly recommend uh, whichever hero that you have, if you can afford it. Uh, another one to look into is this one here is called guild suppression research again if you are into um, in, into the end game build then brutal strike is something that you look for brutal strike is a crit of the crit and um, this one will increase the brutal strike rating at um, again it's five point for me usually uh, for 80 percent cost effectiveness and it gives you 306 uh, 300 brutal strike rating which is not bad I mean, you know, at a cost of five spirit. So, like I said, there are many options in this um, in this tree. Rare, very rarely, I dump all the points into into a note, except only a few, uh, like the uh, super soldier serum as well as the spin tap. I mean, these are the ones that I invest everything in. But you know, a, a lot of them, I, I do my calculation and decide how much I would like to go deep in. Uh, there's no point to waste a point. It's really hard earned. Yeah. Um, so that is done. The arcane attunement is something that. Um, it's more geared towards hybrid because if you are hybrid, say uh, physical and you, if you do physical and energy damage, uh, if you hybrid between the two, uh, uh, Mioni as well as the Stormbreaker will, will give you, so if you hit um, with a physical power, you gain uh, buff to the energy uh, attack and if you hit a, you know, and vice versa as well. So, you know, you know this is something that worth considering uh, in my opinion. Um, for, for hybrid and another one that is also for hybrid is that uh, man, for mental and physical is this tree here so this gives you the mental and physical well the other one is uh, more for pure energy pure energy and pure mental is over here so this one is mainly for pure energy and the other one is pure mental both of them is pretty good I mean you know if, if you dump if you have uh, only a these are really for low hanging fruit so if your omega system uh, omega points are low and you don't really have a lot of uh, you know point to invest onto those huge nodes like 150 uh, you know points just to get one rank for the brutal or for for, the, for, for for whatever it is then this is something you should consider right because 16 points for the first rank 17 points for the second rank and so on and so forth you can afford it and it does it give you immediate return on on, on some of this attack i mean you know um really should consider if your omega point is low however for high omega point i i usually will not look into this anymore because there are other places that i could invest heavily on too we found the special weapons uh, I, I don't really particularly fancy anything here except if you're a summoner you 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 would uh, if you have a pet build you go for the summon ally damage this is a good note to to, to have I think I may have uh, put in quite a fair bit because you know you it remains at 16 points for quite a while and then it only jumped to 17 point on the on the 10th look so I think for any pet hero if you don't have um, this has no escalation cost for the first 10 points uh, you know if you can afford the um, the 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 Omega point I think I think you can afford it so this one is, is is quite low cost I would max it for my rocket raccoon you may just pick the first 10 point or whichever however number that you are comfortable with uh, moving forward uh, this is a note called night night pistol it has a pretty nice utility it uh, reduce the enemy move speed for a certain percentage it may helps you in a couple of way because for range hero usually they are pretty fragile and uh, reducing the energy move speed may buy you a little bit more time when you kill them and also the uh, you may have Loki's um, uh, you may you may have other 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 synergy whereby you have extra damage against um, enemies that are slowed so it is something to to consider I will not put too much points onto this these guys here and also some actually light assault rifles I understand I mean you know give you a base damage uh, boost to the uh, range power you may want to put like five points to it because um, you know, five five or seven I can't remember 
I have to work out mathematics, uh, but I'm not a big fan of this one. Why? Because you know, usually people like to have tap round, which is this one here. Now, but tap round, sometimes you have to pay attention to omega three. This is a very special note, unlike other note whereby the cross escalation is not um, like a like a linear line. So the the first rank is 75 points, and the second rank go back to 40 points. So there's a huge investment on the first rank, which is, seven, which is 75 points. I think in my mind, the 35 pawn that you have invested in is to review the uh, the uh, the enemies on the minimap. So you know that become like the uh, hidden cost to it. You cannot escape. But, but the thing is that if you don't need that, then why do you, you know burn 35 points into into this thing, right? So. I don't know. I mean, it is up to you. Uh, it, it's quite a strong notes, but not something that uh, I would particularly want to waste my 35 points on something that you know I may not want need to have like the mini map um, uh, review enemies on the mini map. But if you need it, I guess you can consider. Um, so okay, so this is the one that they have recent recently added. It's a very interesting uh, um, tree and it's very strong as well, and uh, the. The, the 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 strong point is this uh, there is one called war path which is uh, plus fighting uh, plus fighting is usually more preferred um, for for any hybrid hero even if you are pure energy or mental or whatnot hero unless you need to have the uh, 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 cost saving in your resources, you probably would want to go for the uh, fighting instead because fighting gives you brutal as well. So, um, so this is one note that you know, um, if you are looking for eighty percent cost effectiveness, you can put in up to nine points in it if you can afford it. Uh, it's a very strong point to have. And uh, there are other things as well, like the, this one. Okay, Sabre Tooth is the one that gives you the brutal strike and uh, brutal brutal damage rating as well as health regen. I'm not particularly keen on health regen, but having said that, not every hero has a health regen, so it may be nice to have, but it is very costly. It costs quite a fair bit to, to actually invest into this note as well, the Sabah Tooth. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really up to you. Some heroes, I, I, I have no idea where to put I, I put this one, but you know, normally I just invest my points into plus fighting. Um, this one is that if you are using an uh, energy uh, hero, so this is something to consider as well. Uh, it's uh, escalation from 40, 45, and so on and so forth. Um, okay, the last one that I'd like to talk about is that um, if, you, if you are an energy uh, hero that does... Um, so, so this one is very interesting because uh, you know, if you hit an area power, then you gain base damage to energy uh, Attack and then you know then vice versa. If you if you hit the energy power, then again to uh, area attack as well. So heroes like Magneto uh, benefit quite a fair bit of this because it does a lot of area damage. So if your energy heroes does a lot of area damage, you know these are the two that you you like to have. Uh, the only downside is the melee power again again create hit for those hero. Now if you are a melee player, you know uh, just dump a point in it or a few point here because. You know, crit damage rating is something that always people want to have. It's more the better because crit damage rating buff your brutal damage rating as well. Manage uh, player definitely. Uh, for range player, I think you know because it opens up the other field as well. So if this is something that you would like to develop, you may just want to just you know forget it. I, I just put one pawn there, and uh, I think that's it. I mean, you know, uh, that is the. That is the very very quick overview on the entire tree. So you know, uh, feel free to experiment. I think Omega system is a really good system, and you know, um, and, and, it, and I do feel a lot more powerful once I hit a certain threshold and uh, when I allocate my points, uh, you know, on, on the right way, uh, on on the way that's efficient. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and uh, see you next time. Bye.